For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Vietnam, with a population of 100 million people, has not recorded a single death from COVID-19. There has not been a single local case of the virus in the last three months. How has Vietnam been so successful in combating the virus where many richer and more powerful countries have failed? The Vietnamese government's response was quick and organized and the government mobilized the people to respond as well. Preparations began as soon as the number of cases in neighboring China began to rise much before other countries took the virus threat seriously. On 16 January, even before it was clear that the virus could spread through human transmission, Vietnam's Ministry of Health informed other government agencies and the people of the dangers of the virus, urging them to act immediately. After human-to-human -human transmission was confirmed, the Health Ministry issued detailed instructions to hospitals and clinics on tackling the virus on 21st January. On 24th January, the government decided to carry out screenings at all border posts, an essential step since Vietnam shares a 1,400km border with China. Schools were also closed at the end of January. On 30th January, Prime Minister Wayne Chuan Phu established a National Steering Committee on Epidemic Prevention. Two days later, on February 1st, the Prime Minister declared a national emergency. This early and aggressive response has allowed Vietnam to already return to normal, even as many countries are still seeing a dramatic rise in cases. Apart from the usage of masks, physical distancing and targeted control, the country has reopened, which means it will also face much less economic damage than other countries. Schools were also reopened in early May. The Communist Party of Vietnam early on issued the motto, fighting the epidemic is like fighting against the enemy. In keeping with this motto, the battle against the virus was fought scientifically. Testing was also scaled up massively. Over 100 laboratories all over Vietnam performed real-time polymerase chain reaction tests, which give much faster results. By April end, 27,000 test samples could be processed daily. Extensive contact tracing is carried out for every positive result. A multi-tier isolation system was formulated, which enabled Vietnam to break the chain of infection without locking down the entire population. Availability of safety equipment was ensured. The government directed public sector companies to manufacture PBEs, ventilators, hand sanitizers, etc. Vietnam also sent 450,000 PPE units to the US in an act of solidarity. The government deployed different communication methods to disseminate safety information. A music video posted by the Minister of Health, which explained hand washing and physical distancing went viral. Announcements, posters, social media campaigns, text messages to citizens. All of these and more are being utilized for information campaigns. To ensure no one suffers from hunger, the government set up food kitchens to feed anyone in need. These efforts were also aided by philanthropists who set up rice ATMs to distribute food to those who had lost their incomes. The Vietnamese government, under the leadership of the Communist Party, has thus been able to combat COVID-19 with its socialist approach. The government's multi-sector response incorporated different branches of the public sector and grassroots organizations. The socialist approach based on scientific action, public sector production of essential goods, and internationalism provides a model for others to follow. The fact that Vietnam, a middle-income country with 100 million people, has only had a total of around 400 cases till late July is a testament to the power of the socialist approach. Yeah,